Oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah, here it is. Here we go. Look at that score requirement. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna- oh boy, I, I, here okay. we go. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna shut up. Yeah, yeah. no. I'm gonna get some food while it's going on. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, mm hmm Now I remember the song now. Mm hmm oh. No. No. <laughs> no. No, that's also what I hate, too. When you mess up once, it just fucks you so bad. And it's just like, oh, <laughs> well, shit, I gotta redo the song now. Fuck. Yeah. Maybe if I actually sit down and listen to it without the fucking PTSD of me failing this song multiple times on Proud, maybe I'd actually like it. Yeah, that's really good for him. Yeah, see, now it just blows up. I'm just like, bro. <laughs> I love the transitions to Dearly Beloved. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is really good. Yeah, I, I was like, I saw that, I saw that, 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 that series of myths, that little bit there, and I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I think you just hit the require the. Yeah, no, I yeah. think you. Hit, I think you hit the score requirement. You're good. Nice. I think I'm pretty sure. What? I think it was like. Invisibles. I think it was like, um, it... Go ahead. I was gonna. I was gonna say. Are were invisibles in days? Mm, I don't think so. I was gonna say because I. Yeah. It was like it was either. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was 85 eight million five hundred or five hundred thousand. Let's see. Okay. Good, yeah. You made it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, only four Ooh. misses uh, like after so long. That's pretty good. Mm. Seven days after Rock's that that, that song is so hard. Place. Yeah. It's because how slow it is. Number fourteen, Shio, and the gears of fate began to turn. The organization was made up of nobody. One of my favorite characters fight me. <laughs> and their goal was to complete Kingdom. Maybe if I actually did finish Dade, maybe I would have attachment, but I do not have any attachment to this character at all. What, was she on? Yeah. As the days passed, Roxas I mean, I, I, I mean, I, the, the, I mean, I did watch the movie, but even then, like, I'm sure if I actually gave a shit and, and also like played the game, maybe I'd actually care. Mm. I just. I like Xion because like she's just another tragic player in this. Yeah, I think the the, the days trio I think is like probably the the, the best uh, developed trio. They definitely have a lot more time in the span of like one game, unbelievably I, hard, I, I, believe it or not. I think it, yeah, I think it's a lot to due to how long days is. So, our irony, sir, we hate how long the game is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I, 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 I know it's also the fact that they spend a lot of time together. Because like, the thing with like the Bird by Sleep trio is, trio is that like they spend a, a large chunk of game like separated. So it's like all we have is like we heard that they grew up, uh, that they trained together and all that. We just have to assume they're that how good friends they are. Yeah, it's very BBS has a very snappy pace, um, and. It kind of hurts it in some ways because of it. Who else do I eat ice cream with? 
<laughs> my butt buddy, Axel. <laughs> okay, to be fair, that is a mistranslation. I yeah, read. yeah, I, I think, I yeah, I think it's like it's supposed to be something like like we need to have ice cream of like Axel or something. Axel, yeah. Yeah. Another side battle version. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, uh, this is the battle version of the cutscene song. Right. I don't know why, but I think of, like, the Roxas fight when I hear this for some reason. <laughs> well, when I hear this, I think of, like, Zigba. <laughs> like, just... I think he, he, this theme usually plays when he's, like, doing stuff. Organization 13! Oh, I love this. Oh, when it goes into that rift? Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. Look good. Feels like I'm feels like I'm watching the cutscene all over again. Feels like I'm watching that fucking um another side of another story trailer. It's, yeah, 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 that is yeah, really like cool. The, very, yeah, you know, the secret movie in Kingdom Hearts One. Yes. Apparently, Holy like shit. um th like when Nomura did all that, um like he didn't really like ha have like ideas planned on like what any of that meant. It was just like a bunch of random cool stuff that like he put in and like um like if this gets like greenlit for like sequels then i'll just expand on this later hey, i mean it works right yeah i mean it definitely goes off the idea of the more just picking shit up as he goes i think and he makes more, it huh? i think he makes it work though like this is definitely like he definitely makes it up as he goes but it, he does it in a way where it, it for the most part it feels natural at least in my opinion i think he does a decent I mean, job i mean he, he does it better than i would yeah I mean, I definitely, yeah, exactly. I mean, I can't make up shit for Kingdom Hearts this long. Shit, yeah. I give up at this point. Because this, this, this. I mean, I, mean yeah. I probably only be able to think of something like I could do to. I would, what I would do is like afterwards. Yeah, because like, th there's no way you can like plan ahead like ten games in advance. Yeah. Like, I, like I, you I have a really vivid imagination or a lot of time with your notebook. Yeah, right. I, I can see, like, uh, planning out, like, a trilogy, like, from the yes. beginning, but, like, not, like, ten games. <laughs> I think it's also because of the fact that he didn't expect it to go that big, too. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Three definitely took a lot longer than it needed to, I feel. I mean, like, um, uh, the f uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts One like was a was a massive gamble. Like they had no idea how well it was gonna go gonna do. And if it works, it works. And now look, I mean. and, and now look at it. Yeah. He art birdie. Huzzah! Oh boy, the I I love rolling for artwork and shit. <laughs> Roxas headed for the organization's castle, but Riku blocked his path. Upon learning that Roxas was Sora's nobody, Ouchie, Riku ouch. unleashed all his powers of darkness to defeat him, paying no mind. I do really like World I Never Was, though. Yeah. Roxas it definitely does have that end of the game vibe. I, I think. Of I, I, oh. I, yeah, I, it's, I like the, I like it for different reasons than uh, like once End of the World. Like End of the World is like really ominous, but I like World That Never Was in two for. Like being an infiltration of like the bad guys like lair, I guess. This is it, the final showdown. Yeah, I I I, I, I like it in that sense. Uh Yeah, I think That move then that moves it into uh Kingdom Hearts 2 stuff. So. Yeah, so like Yeah, we'll we'll do this and then we'll stop. We'll do both um the this and the battle theme then. Well the, well, the well, the battle theme in the tower is still um a hand, it's still working together. Yeah. So oh, right, right. Yeah. So right. Ne ne next time we'll start like Kingdom Hearts Two Worlds. Okay. That's although when I although when I see this, all I can think of that stupid Mushroom Thirteen. Oh God. Hey, jungle this in the air enough. <laughs> oh yeah. D uh, Tw Twilight Town and uh, like combined with Mysterious Tower has like quite a lot of uh, mushrooms. Mhm. Mm Definitely a, definitely a, that was definitely a quicker song. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say this, I definitely prefer the mushroom minigames over the, what the, the flan heartless in, uh, Kinbot's Free. Oh, easily. 
Because I, I... Like, some of those are like... I, I, I do like some of those minigames fun enough, but like a lot of them kind of just drag. Yeah, I hear what you mean. Hey, who wants to also... Oh, also... Oh, I mean, some of the minigames are better are general or better in 2 and 3. Hey, who yeah. wants to go down the mountain 13 times? God. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that, hey, you that... weren't there. For, you weren't there for that. Yeah, but I, I played it. <laughs> and this is just to get Ultima. God. Yeah, that, that's kind of. Cool. Oh, the 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 the. Oh right, I, I okay. I, I remember remember what you're talking about now. Yeah, don't you want to slide down the mountain 13 times? That uh, are you, again? God. Just to find the crystals. That sucked. I, I like that mini game uh, like on its own, but like when you have to like get everything, it sucks. Yeah, it should definitely be a one-off, and then it should... like if you want to replay, it, you can. It would no maybe, a, maybe, maybe a score attack like yeah. hitting certain jumps or yeah. something. But... I I, I, th I think it, like the the requirement should have just been get a, get a, a certain like get your score to a certain amount. And that should have been it. Yeah, definitely shouldn't have uh like you know like I I. I say this like I, I like exploration in Kingdom Hearts games, but like not like that. <laughs> Please, there, there comes the fine line between like exploring and repetitive this. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh boy, I can't wait for our next session to start just so we can hear the terrible MIDI for um uh, for um uh, Land of Dragons. <laughs> also, I like how the uh, like the background changes here depending on the team you use. Mhm. Mm Oh boy, versus battle. Yay. Do people even, like, go online in this game anymore? <laughs> nope, probably not. Alright, Probably well. a dead game. There's probably that one dedicated guy that never... I think there are more songs the in the demo for co-op mode, but I'm not sure. Mm hmm. Oh, well, anyways, next time, uh, more stuff with two, and, um, see how far we go uh, next time. Fun times. Okay. Bye. It's fucking easy. Is it DK Easy Bot though? No. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we're about even in sound. Alright, back to funny rhythm game we go. Let's do this. Uh, do you oh, think it's oh. funny? I don't know if I would classify this as funny. Oh, right. hey, this is the hardest thing for me to do. This is one of the hardest things for me to do because I'm not right. used to the MIDI anymore. Uh, <laughs> should, we, should we do two with the Days Trio or go back to Sora? Uh, you do what you want to do. I'm I guess we'll just level up the day squad then a bit. Not that it really matters. I think it only gives yeah. you like what HP up. Yeah, I don't know if there's any differences between like the teams. Like other. If than, you have a preference, like, I mean, visuals? go ahead. But like, <laughs> I mean, if you have any preferences, be my guest. But like, I don't know. If a lot uh, of people yeah. like, oh, I love Riku uh, and Team I'm... Meters. My <laughs> favorite squad. I think it's just like visual stuff. The song is so weird and MIDI. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh... I, I de in terms of like Kingdom Hearts 2's tracks, I definitely prefer the orchestra because yeah, like uh, oh, 100%. Mulan's world especially like the this, I wouldn't call this MIDI bad, but like compared to the orchestra, it's just not as good. What well, is it? The battle theme, I I it threw me off so harsh when I first played. Yeah, I mean it's in in the uh, orchestra. It's one of my favorite battle themes in the series. Mhm. Mm Nick. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't know because like you're talking to someone who only remembers the the original version and hasn't like hasn't really listened to like the final mix versions, you know. So like I can't really give an opinion on like the the fucking uh, orchestra version because like to be honest, I haven't listened to them very often. So, so like a fucking I'm a fucking boomer. Oh, like I love it back in the day when it was on the PS2 and they were simpler times. Oops, I that wasn't a done. That wasn't a double, by the way, when you're doing those jump attacks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm getting confused. It's definitely, like, the not the main theme. It's like the fucking... Okay, now, well, now it is, though. Yeah. I hate when they do that, though. And they switch from, like, the main theme to, like, the... Whatchamacallit, like, the... 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 What do you call it? Like, the... I know what you mean. It's like, like... A the back beat or something? I don't know. I don't know the actual I know know musical major. We need Xavier for that. Yeah. Oh, no, no, Xavier no, no. probably yeah. would definitely tell us. 
He's a, yeah, is he a music major or something? <laughs> I, I yeah, mean, I'd assume, I, 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 I don't know. I would assume so, considering he does like the music, music, uh, remixes, remixes and stuff. He also, he's just ta also taking good advantage of his perfect pitch. Yeah. The lucky bastard. Yeah, right. Perfect pitch, the movie. I can't believe I actually thought Ooh. that was a baseball movie and not a fucking singing um, music when it came out. You, you mean Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect, yeah, that one. I don't know why I thought that was a baseball <laughs> movie for some reason. I remember when I was coming out just like, oh, baseball, right? And it's like, no, it's actually a bunch of like, what was it, like, kind of middle-aged women like singing or some shit. <laughs> wow. I think, that was the actual, I think that was the actual, I think that's what it was. Uh, good luck with the battle theme, by the way. Yeah. Um, I guess the, like, qu question that, like, ties into just Kingdom Hearts music in general. Do, uh, what, do you guys, what would you guys say is, like, has the best soundtrack in the series? I gotta think about that one. That's a really hard one. I, well, like, they all have really bangers, though. Let's be honest. Yeah. But I, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna, like, admit that one's better than the other. But, like, every game has its own banger. The worst part is for me though, like I don't remember three that much, so I like three already like out of the picture for me already. Cause, like, oh, we I don't said it last. It. We said it last time, but like uh, three has some really good ones, but a lot of them are remixes. Or uh, like yeah, I just don't, I just don't remember. Period. Yeah, I think I the think my does, the I ones think, that do stick yeah. out do stick out. But... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think I think two has my favorite soundtrack overall because it just has like it, it, I think it's the most consistent in terms of themes I like at least. Um, although Dream Drop Distance, I think, is a slapped on soundtrack wise. That one's really good too. It's really hard for me to say, so it has just like so many good songs. Yeah. And then there's. I just... would, I, when I think about it, it probably is two for me though, because I, I don't remember Dream Drop's OST at all. Oh, mm. I, after watching Hub go through it, like, I was actually just remembering the soundtrack pretty well. It was like. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, wow, like, some of these songs like, are a lot better than I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Dream Drop is slept on, like, music-wise. Funny. <laughs> Can't wait till we get to the, uh, actual part. <laughs> yeah, especially... It won't be for a while, though. I mean, it's, not, it's after two, right? So it's not that far away, right? Uh, we got well, this, we got, uh... the BBS now, so... Yeah, BBS and then, like... No, oh, BBS and then... recoded BBS. songs. <laughs> oh, well, go oh, recoded. Oh, right, how many are there in recoded? Two. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even remember they, they, they were in the game until Jason told me earlier. I, I kind of forgot about that too because I thought it was the movie. Because I was like, hmm. isn't well, there music that's playable? I'm well, sure, I guess. Well, well, well yeah, because like in the because like these like glitchy areas had their own battle theme. Nice. Oh, that part fucked, that part fucked me up when I was doing it. Yeah. I'm not I, used def to I, I'm definitely, so used I definitely want to know how to press that, I won't lie. The beat messed me up because I'm so used to the orchestra. <laughs> yeah, so you need to hear, just like Nick, like listen to the uh, orchestra version of Fields of Honor. It's like something completely different. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That, that's look, looking at one of those like challenges there. Like that's one other thing I don't really like about this game is that like it's not even just the ones that make you play a song again on standard or whatever. Um, it's ones where like oh you need to get. 190 like glide notes or something which is like a lot more than it, what the it, song basically has you have to grind yeah you have to grind it at least more than once it's so like dumb. it's like it's, 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 both halves. yeah oh right, doing, right. you want to do it bigger first or i guess we can i'll do this because it's like still land of dragons right but, but um yeah i, I don't yeah. i don't like it when like it's a good theme. I, I don't like it when they force you to play, play the song multiple times for like arbitrary reasons no, they definitely should be like, you should play this on normal or harder. Yeah. That, that They definitely should have gone that route instead of forcing you to play this multiple times. Like, if you're going to do, yeah, and again, if you're going to do challenges that uh, require you to get, like, glide notes or something, just make it like, oh, just get all of them and you'll, and then you'll get it. Like, it, you can't miss yeah. a glide note. Yeah, that, that, like, that would be fine. Don't make it so you have to replay it for no reason. The thing yeah. is, they do add challenges that do that. Yeah, yeah, except, you know, they should be consistent and not like every other level. To yeah. be for all of them. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I guess like we talked a lot about uh, Kingdom Hearts One while we went through that. Um, how? What are your guys' opinions on like Kingdom Hearts Two in general? 
I remember being really excited about it when it was coming out because it looks so cool. And I mean, I still like it a lot. The combat's still like my favorite part about the game. Oh. Um, I mean, I definitely still... I, I think I'm not the only one who thinks this though, but like they definitely went a little too hard on the Final Fantasy story-esque elements in this game. Definitely didn't have a lot of Disney magic, which is what I liked about the first one. I think... Mm. I, I still say yeah. Kingdom Hearts 1. I still say I will still always I said this like at nauseum. I still think Kingdom Hearts 2 is the better game overall. Like Right. Like I think Kingdom Hearts 2 is definitely also a lot more approachable in terms of its gameplay. <laughs> yeah. I, I find. But yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Especially especially since it's not it's not not as nearly as archaic. But um I still but I've also said how much I still like Kingdom Hearts 1 more. <laughs> right. I like both games for different reasons. Uh, I still think, though, like one like one thing is like if you can acknowledge a game's faults and still say it's your favorite, that just kind of goes to show how much it means to you. Yeah. Oh god, this. Yeah, that beat was throwing me off. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so used to like the higher notes at the end of that part. <laughs> yeah, that was a mess. Uh, eh, that could have gotten worse. You, it could have been where you died there the other time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, 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 I said this before, but I like, I just enjoy two's combat so much, and I think that is that you can tell the difference in just the design philosophy between the two games because when you compare. Um, a world from one, like it had, it would have like all these platforming rooms and stuff. Whereas in two, it would be like a bunch of combat challenges. Um, and I think it's just a difference in like the goals, like like design goals, I guess. Ah, yes, lots of a damned. I think, yeah, yeah I think, like, I think for an RPG, I think it would be more fun to just do some more fighting than platforming. <laughs> I can understand, like, it probably does get like stale after a while, though. I think it also helps that, like, uh, the game is const constantly putting you in, like, different, like, uh, combat scenarios and, like, new, like, unique enemy types throughout the worlds and stuff. So, like, it never, it never really, it never feels like it's getting old. Especially with all the, with how, um, the game, like, introduces new, um, like, abilities and, like, summons and drive forms that to you at a good pace. I think the unique Heartless are actually kind of like cool in two, I guess. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to remember like any unique enemy from like one. Like, like, like sure, Power Wilds, fucking um... A a monkey, yeah, the monkey, yeah, the monkeys didn't return to Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Like a monkey, like bandits, fire bandits, the... Uh, Bat bandits. <laughs> Yeah, Fat Bandit, um... Monstro. I think Monstro had the Search Ghosts, but like... Yeah. They show up later but, on, but they show up later yeah. on. Oops. And then like, I guess it's two, they actually... But they're a unique enemy, they do have some interesting mechanic. Like, especially in this one with the Stone Gargoyles, you can choose to kill them normally, or you can just, you know... Uh, release the Spirit, which is kind of... I think, yeah, yeah, I think it's like, I think it's like you got a perfect parry them. Or like, just like, you, you just, or you just clash. I think that's what also works too. Yeah, and then, and then it stuns them, and you, and then you can just instantly destroy them with a reaction. Yeah, yeah that's why I like it. That's why I like Ghost Beast Two. It takes advantage of its mechanics, but unique enemies you can just do a cool reaction command out of it now. I mean, I think uh -huh. the, I mean the re the reason why uh, Two is usually like the favored one is is the fact that like it just feels so good to play. Like there's always uh -huh. with, like, with like the other a lot of the other games. There's usually like some kind of quirk that makes it not as fun as it could be, whereas like 2 just has such a good sense of flow to it that it's just very addictive compared to like the other games. At least 2 probably had a good balance between like magic and physical, whereas in right. like yeah. the other games are kind I mean, I'll give credit to 1 because they, they were still touching the water. They were still just right. a game that right. they just well, made. Okay. Like, it's just like... like <laughs> but let's be honest, later on it gets a little either brain dead or kind of like 1 just becomes irrelevant, let's be honest. Right. I mean, like, uh... 
Cause it, well, I mean, yeah. does, like, hang on, cause, like, even, like, boss battles in 3, do they actually have any cool magic combos or, like, any time skips or strategies of magic in that game? Uh, I think sometimes it is better to use magic, uh, depending on, like, the boss, but I don't know about, like, uh, skips or anything like that. Because definitely in 2, you definitely see some cool magic strats, like, especially in the data fights. Everyone would be like, wow, fucking Reflect is broken as shit. <laughs> I think um, that the, 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 the other thing about that is that, um, like, 2 has a lot of options for, like, every scenario, but the thing is, that makes it stand out compared to, like, Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop 3, and all that, is that all of them are fun to use, whereas, like, in, like, Dream Drop or whatever, um, like, it's pretty much, you're pretty much just, Balloon is always going to be your best option, and <coughs> even if you do, like, regular combat, it's just nowhere near as fun as two. It doesn't really help that things are kind of, like, it, 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 it's just how the enemies really re work. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Like, I think... I think free lay like, is like a good middle ground, but it's still no winner is good. I think. I'll still bring up the argument that hey man, if I can mash Wheel of Fate in three, and I think that's something wrong with the combat. Right. Because I remember in my LP of that, I definitely did fan that ah, move a lot. Yeah, that was pretty. Was, ah, oh shit! Yeah. That was near the end too. God damn that, it. That was. Yeah, that went very Messy, bad. That this is, this is one we might have to Please? be a little careful with. Huh? I'm okay. Yeah, I need, I, I'm too used to pressing like, like X right away. Maybe if you need to, maybe you should focus on the song while me and Nick can talk through it. Yeah, I was trying. So that one, that one gets messy. Yeah. Or you know, when it gets to the hard part, I'll actually give you the respect and actually let you concentrate. I mean, actually, while while we're on while we're on that, like, do you like it when a ribbon game is hard? <laughs> Sometimes I won't lie. It's nice to have a challenge, but it has to be within. But it has to be reasonable. I don't want to do no fucking intense thing of Hatsune Miku, and you have to press these buttons really fast and at a certain timing. That no, guide. I'm just human. I think that's I mean, gonna be a little doesn't, doesn't help us. Yeah, it doesn't help that Miku, Miku is a lot more strict. <laughs> I mean, I this game definitely gives you more flag by like you can press any button, which is kind of nice, honestly. But like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's like, you only, it's like the only thing you need is like remembering to jump or use triangle at points. And also pressing, yes, pressing L one and R one does help. Trust I me. I think I think this is a good like beginner-ish rhythm game without being too easy. Mhm. Mm it's definitely one of the more like. Ease of accessibility level, you can probably just say that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's bad, but like, I don't know. Like, it definitely wasn't the type of uh, game I was expecting. Or like, format, I guess. Well, I mean, this is just also me just basing it off of like, oh yeah, I played uh, Project Diva and Persona, so that's also probably why too. Oh. Yeah. I played quite a few Ribbon games, like, uh, I actually played a few DDR games. I mean, I played that too. I think a lot of people played DDR back in the day before, like, it kind of just fell off. I still have Mario Mix. Same. I can't believe- I think- I don't even- I think I own it? I actually don't remember if I own it. I remember I definitely don't have the, the game pad. I don't, I don't have the fucking dance pad for it, though, for sure. There we go. I have my- I have my dance pad. Yeah, no, I used Above. to- I used to play, uh, DDR games, like, all the- all the time, uh, growing up. I don't really play it much now, but, like, that was- that was my jam as a kid. Dude, my fucking uh, damn DDR game was Disney on the PlayStation 1. If anyone actually remembers that, same. fucking shout out, holy shit, yeah, it let's was, go, it, my, the, my main ones were- my, my, yeah, my main ones were the Disney- <laughs> were, the, were the Disney ones. Some one of uh, some DDR game on the PS2. I don't know what it's called. And uh, Extreme, the, Extreme Two. Maybe I have no idea. Um, it's definitely one of those. Exactly. It's either that or uh, Supernova. I think that was like yeah, the last one. And and, uh, and the Mario one. Those were like the main three for me. No, Extreme was definitely the goat. Alright, we got choices oh. now. Oh, uh, the other boss fight over there. Oh, we can do that. Why don't we just do the boss fight? I guess. Oh right, yeah. Oh, and because of um, Halloween Town, te uh, technically, because because uh, Final Mix's version of Halloween Town has different songs, that's what they're going for. 
Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm kind of glad they actually did that. That'd give me a... <laughs> if you're gonna re-release the game, at least change something a little bit. Yeah. Or, well, you probably, know, just remake probably the game. Probably struggles. The Zion for all that is lost. I actually never so, knew that was the title for a long time, actually. I won't yeah. lie. Remember how long, did, how long did this take you in the uh, level 1 fight, fight, by the way? Oh, I don't know. It's been a while since I've, like, done any of that. Actually, when, I, when we got to Sean Yu, when we were when we were at, when we were at Vin and Vigor, I was like, oh yeah, Sean Yu and his cursed door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that took like well, like two hours. <laughs> is it because is it mainly because of the door? Or is it because Sean Yu's an ass? Oh no, it was the bird. <laughs> it, yeah, it was the oh, bird. The, oh yeah, the bird. Oh, I remember that. It was the bird, and also like dealing with like all the heartless. Because like, if it was just Sean Yu, it, it wouldn't be that bad. But there's so many like things you have to worry about. I guess that's what they were going for, though. If yeah. it was just a 1v1 versus Sean Yu, it probably would be kind of easy. Yeah. Because, like, <laughs> the, the thing like is, I don't... Yeah. I think they could have gone away with not having the door gimmick. Yeah. Cause like, god damn, that was annoying. Yeah. Big Ed's door gimmick. Doesn't this play when you're also defending the door with Leon? It does, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I, that, that's like... I think that's like, like your first wake-up call. Gun! I think that's your, your first wake-up call for the game. Yo, yo, I remember when I did that on on the on the critical streams. I was like, I, 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 I'm surprised I got through on my first try. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was being super careful against the samurai in particular. Yeah. I think I was mainly fishing for reaction command on them. That's usually oh, like, like the, the strap for that. Oh, but I was also playing a dangerous game there because if I if I messed that up, I mean, they probably would one shot me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, easily. Yeah, that's the thing with Sean Yu specifically as well, like, um, he can very easily just, like, put you in a, like, a combo, and then just kill you immediately, so... Yeah, because he has, he has that slice, he has that slicing attack, or whatever it is. Yeah. We were talking about something earlier, and I, and I forgot to give, oh, I think it was, like, my overall thoughts on Kingdom Hearts 2 more. Pretty much, yeah, we, yeah, we were still kind of on that. Yeah, because, like... I do like Kingdom Hearts 2 a lot, and like I could, if like I could pr pretty much pick it up almost whenever, just like Kingdom Hearts 1. Right. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea just to go through Kingdom Hearts again, honestly, because it's been so, so long since like, I, I played it. Mm. I mean, since, I mean, I mean, since you've just been doing this thing where you've been playing the games on the screen share, you might as well. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. This is what this is what people do in retirement. People they just screen share to their friend, and uh, you know what? That's good enough for me. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the, the Vesperia playthrough that just never finishes. Oh, you know what the worst part is? I actually <laughs> been thinking about playing it again, so I actually might actually do that as a screen share thing, and it will actually be done, and all the LP just stays forgotten and uh, gets done forever. Okay. Oh, is this the Underworld? Yeah, I was gonna say yes. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I, I like the I Underworld. See, uh, I see, I see Pride Lands coming up, and I realized when I first played this game, I don't know this music that well for for that one. Oh, for Pride Lands? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I, I don't re remember yeah. Pride Lands. Oh, it Lands starts off well. with the, oh, it, it starts because it starts off with Dune, and then that's all I remember. Yeah. The Pride Lands seems just kind of noise to me, honestly. At points. Mm. Like, is it because you, uh, it, is it because you also remember those like whatever those spirit ghosts or whatever the fuck those are called? Are you talking about? Are you talking not the about shaman, the, not the shaman? Not the shaman. The living bone. The thing, yeah, the thing that they. Oh. Write. Yeah. No, yeah. God, the those fuckers sucked when I first played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, especially on critical, like if you're not careful, they can just immediately kill you as soon as you like uh, enter the uh, like room they're in or whatever. No, the living bone are usually some of the hardest heartless to deal with. Like yeah. at, 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 at at the start. Also, when you're not used to line controls. Yeah. That's a lot, that's kind of annoying. Oh, I remember my first run for the game, like, period, I died a lot. I died in that, it just in the first encounter with the two of them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everyone did, though, so that you don't have to feel bad. Oops. I mean, what, I, and ironically, once you get the shaman on them, they become easier. Yes, <laughs> actually, yeah, because they don't have a head. Well, not even that, they just they just oh, don't, they don't have, oh, wait, they, they don't have, oh, yeah. Kind of no, 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 they, they're easier for stun lock. For some reason, oh, oh, I guess. For, some oh. reason react, for some reason they react more when you're hitting them. Have you noticed that, Harry? What, the shamans? Oh, yeah, it feels like, no, the living bone when shamans are riding them. It feels like they react more when you're hitting them. 
I'll keep that in mind when I get to them in the level one run, I guess. Like it feels like they actually are like constantly getting knocked back. It feels like I can actually just physical them without worrying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, w I wouldn't know. I don't remember. I do like the underworld though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if at least it... if you bring back Colosseum, at least you explore a different area of it. Though I always yeah. appreciate that. I, I do appreciate that, like Im Im like Olympus like, is an actual world <laughs> in this game. Oh yeah, true. Definitely has the worst one. Oh yeah, it's just a single like extra room. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just three rooms. <laughs> like, like what is it? Apparently, the the room is meant to be Thebes or something, but like, bro, it's, it's just a, a square. It's a square. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. <laughs> It's literally you copied and pasted the same one from one and just like multiplied it. Yeah. Well, there there is a there is a town section, but it hardly means anything. Yeah. Yeah, it hardly yeah, means anything. Yeah. If you, well, can I actually at least explore Greece a little bit, like in three? No. no? Yeah. Okay, whatever, man. Yeah. Whatever, man. I, think no there point there is, yeah, yeah, I, I will say, like Olympus in three is easily the best version of that. Well, minus the lack of mm -hmm. the tournament. I think it's because, like, well, did they move it though? Because I don't remember what if there was a tournament in that game. No, it's just not. Actually. It's just not. There are like, um, like enemy uh, portals or whatever. But there's not, but there's not like a cup system. Those are more. Those are more, those are more like enemy. Those are more just like enemy rushes. Yeah, there's no really? like. Yeah. I mean, recoded. Isn't that like the recoded like? You can bust. It recoded. It was an R it recoded. It was an RPG. Right. But, that was pretty cool. RPG. It was an interesting thing, although you had to keep going back over and over again. Yeah. I know that it's like very the hit and miss with a lot of people with how gimmicky recoded is. I don't mind it too much, but I do I will agree that like they kinda squandered their com the combat system a little bit because they made something really good and you don't even use it for half the game. Yeah, right. But I I don't know, I I I'm fine with seeing rec recoded as like the weird experimental one. Since we're in, since we're doing the underworld thing, I just gotta remind myself how some of these heartless are actually kind of difficult to deal with, especially on the crit run. Yeah, I was gonna say like, as the well. Dogs get, the, the dogs here, like they hurt a lot. Yeah, I will say this as well. Um, when when uh, this theme like showed up again in free, like when Hades like gets the Titans to show up, like that was like so good. <laughs> I love like musical callbacks. Yeah. Sorry, I was doing something. <laughs> no, I was thinking I was letting him play that out. Yeah. <laughs> God, there's so much going on here. <laughs> well, don't worry, you actually know the song, right? Ooh. So that shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah. That, that, yeah. It, like, it... like those, the um, the large bodies showing up here also were a surprise in the crit run. <laughs> like as long as you just keep the um, as you know the as long as you know the B, it's like not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. But the, oh, but the freaking rapid the, the soldiers, the the lance soldiers, the heartless. Those things actually oh, hurt a lot more than you yeah, think. That, yeah. They they basically try try to get them to do the lance tug um reaction command. Yeah, because if you, if if because like, what if they do like a simple charge attack at you? Oh god, it hurts, <laughs> dude. Dude, uh, on on critical, especially level one, the 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 spin attack they do. If they catch you in that, you're dead. <laughs> oh really? Wow. Yeah. You, I, like, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do Pride Lands then. Not yeah, sure why not. It's either that or Halloween Town. Yeah, it doesn't really I matter. We were, I, I was just I was gonna be like, oh, do you just want to go in like World Order? I guess or like. I'm, I'm mean, just kind. I'm just, I'm just kind of doing whatever. Some okay, more. let's just, okay guys. Do we remember Pride Land? I, I like nope. play. I mean, I like playing as Lion Tour a lot more than like uh, uh, the like dol Dolphin Sora, I guess, in one. <laughs> well, to be fair, Lion Combat is definitely more fun than fucking Swimming Combat. Yeah, because like, you just you go just go zooming all over the place. Like, uh, although that being said, I mean a lot of people have said this, but Pride Lands is like pretty much the worst. Uh, that Kingdom Hearts 2 has to offer in terms of level design because it's pretty it's pretty much just an open wasteland. It's open, yeah, it's, that, that it's big, a lot open, yeah. Yeah. That, that big room is literally just for the Earth Shaker. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's as... I don't think it's the worst thing in the world because of how fast you are and how quickly you go to the areas in this world, but it is very noticeable. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's like a lot of Oops. space. Yeah. Whoops, a little, a little early there. To be fair, sometimes I to be fair, sometimes I just instinctively jump when I see things. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I did, that's why. I did do you the... think you're actually playing an actual Kingdom Hearts game? <laughs> is that too? Is that actually my too? Oh, so I have to stress like how difficult it actually is to play this while talking. So. Well, what, yeah, yeah, yeah really say, really hard to you're doing really well. Yeah, because I, I wanna, because I, I wanna, I, I, I like, I wanna put, put my two cents in to a lot of these topics, but like, it's kind of hard <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Well, I mean, but, one, I mean, the worst part is you're playing this so If you played this solo, you probably would say your each piece about each game and the, for one yeah. part, and then after the other, the next two or three is gonna be like, uh, don't mind me, guys. I'm gonna go in fucking silent mode. I gotta try hard and <laughs> actually not look like that. So uh, I mean, that's yeah, I hope you enjoy silence. That will probably happen during Dream Job. Uh, but like, this is exactly the reason why I've been very hesitant to do like Punch Out Wii because I don't know if I can commentate over a game like that. Well, maybe it would help if you have somebody. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why if you do do punch up, we. I'm. I'm definitely. I'm definitely gonna be there. I'm definitely not doing it by myself. I'll say that much. Yeah. Because it's gonna be full silent. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I wrote the overworld theme more than I do the, the the battle theme. I just gotta say that. Yeah. I don't even remember what the battle theme is. I just had. I just remember it had this really nice beginning, but that's it. Yeah, the, 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 I can't. Like, you know, the the, the, drum, the drum beat is really good. I will, I will say that. Uh, talking about after that, I, after that, just noise. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, I will say this. Yeah. Like speaking of speaking of like different like animal forms for Sora, um, one thing that I've come to realize is that I don't mind like in Kingdom Hearts One, I don't mind Atlantica as like a general like world and like the stuff in it. I guess it's just that Sora is just not fun to play as in that world. <laughs> no, it's really not. I mean, like. God, the worst part is you get fucking mermaid kick near the end of the yeah. world too, and that's why like combat and movement feels so fucking slow in that game. Yeah. Or in that in that world, I should say. Yeah, and I think the problem as well is that you just feel so neutered. You don't have a uh, lot you're of. Not, you're, not, I mean, you're not that. You're not Pride Lands. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do um. <laughs> I don't know why I find that Simba image so funny. It's like ooh. But yeah, I like that. Like that that is really good. He's yeah, voiced Corrin. by Corrin. Don't forget, he's voiced by Corrin. Every time I... And also, God, when I, I remember finding that out, I can't look at him the same ever again now, okay? Like, if I, when I go back and play 2, I'm just gonna be like, uh, Are you gonna join Smash House? Uh, uh, join like, Smash! I mean, yeah, you're gonna join, join Smash. Smash House. Yeah, how's this yeah, yeah, wrong gonna, gonna join, yeah, wrong Fire Emblem character. Sorry, my B, and guys. A, and also, like, 80s Leonardo. <laughs> I, I really don't know anything else he's done besides Corrin. <laughs> Um, Liquid Snake is probably his most famous. Oh, I didn't even know he did that. Or oh, one of his most famous. Oh god, yeah, the beat there looks so weird. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I don't, I don't like mind uh, like these like more gimmick worlds, I guess. Uh, I, I think, think they're it's fine an interesting. In a while though, but like, some... like, it depends on how it's executed. I think it's a nice change of pace because it's only like for one world. What oh, even was the gimmick in 3, though? I don't think 3 had one. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, I'm, trying to go, I'm trying to remember all the world. There's, just, there's not I, even I any, guess like, most would be the pirate. I guess that most would be the pirate ship battles. I guess. I'm but not really then, sure how though, I feel like, about the pirate world in 3. Like, it, it, it's how long did it take us in the critical role in the run? Yeah, it had a lot... It, it does have a lot of elements that I like, but I don't enjoy the, the, like, the ship combat as much as I feel they wanted it. Like, I, I, as much as I feel they wanted me to, I don't know. I, I, I definitely remember getting a game over, and that was like my only game over I, in that game. I feel like just exploring the sea just kind of felt w whatever after a while. Yeah, it didn't feel fun at all. I was just like, dude, do I have to really grind fucking crabs in this world? It doesn't feel fun. I mean, I don't- I, I, I never-, I, never it, it, I, don't, did, I think we actually did have to grind crabs just to deal with that one bit before we could actually get to the boss fight. I mean, I don't- but I don't mind like having to get crabs to level up the ship. I just, I'm just not a big fan of like the ship combat itself. We were dying way too much on that one day right before we actually got to fight um, uh, Davy Jones. I know that much. Yeah, Davy Jones is like one of the only humanoid Disney fights. If and he was, and he yeah. wasn't a, and he was, he's not even that hard. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, why do we not fight fight Zerg in Toy Story? Like. 
That oh, definitely, not opportunity. Because, that definitely yeah. was a missed opportunity. At, at least, like, if it's not a fucking, like, generic at UFO Heartless, at yeah. least make it like a fucking, like, like a trial, like, arena fight or something. I don't give a shit. God. It Thanks definitely way. is a missed opportunity, though. But then they also had to use Toy Story to also, to also, like, <laughs> force feed you, um, um, what's his face? Literally just circle of life. <laughs> yeah. It's like, um,. You can feel that like 3 especially had a lot of Disney meddling.